we don't need you wobbling down the street because you're wearing shoes that you can't walk in. Nobody told you to do that. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Raven and I'm a fashion stylist and content creator. But on my channel, I do fashion hauls, fashion tips and tricks, press on nail reviews, and lifestyle. This video is all about the clothing pieces that every woman should have in her wardrobe. This list is relative, so take what you need and leave the rest. But in my opinion, some variation of everything on this list you need in your wardrobe. The entire list will be in the description box and I'll be sure to try to link everything seen in this video. If not, the alternatives in the description box below as well. With that being said, let's get into this list. First up is a white t-shirt. A white t-shirt is perfect. It can be dressed up, dressed down. You can put this under a blazer with a suit or even with jeans and a blazer. You can do this with just jeans and a white t-shirt. Who doesn't love that kind of outfit, honey? The fit of this is entirely up to you. Everything on this list is going to be entirely up to you when it comes to fit, color, and whatnot. Minus the white t-shirt. You need a white t-shirt, okay? This one here is more of a snug fitted t-shirt. You can get a looser fitting tee if you want to. Just be mindful if you go too large or too oversized with the t-shirt. It may start to look a little sloppy depending on how you're styling it. This one here is my favorite favorite white t-shirt of all time. It is from Uniqlo. I love Uniqlo for their basics. This one is nice and thick. It does not lose its shape. It is amazing. Next up is a little black dress. A little black dress or an LBD is a timeless piece that can be worn for various occasions. Try to find one that you can take from day to night that's not so worky that it only can stay in the office but then it's also not so clubby or so after 60 that it can't be worn to the office as well. Try to find something that's a midi or knee length length knee length length. When you're looking for your LBD especially if you want to wear her to the office Unless your office is out here letting you wear mini skirts and whatnot, that's your business. But most offices do have a dress code and you do need to stay within that. Try to find something that you can throw a blazer or a cardigan over to make it feel more appropriate for the office. Again, the silhouette of this dress is going to be up to you. Make sure it's not a maxi because that doesn't really qualify as a little black dress. Just saying. I suggest getting two of these. One that you can wear during the day with like sneakers that you can dress more down. Another one that you can dress for the office or even after six. That way you have the perfect dress for any occasion. Next up is a well-fitted pair of jeans, honey. Y'all can't really see, but above these little like shorter things, like my short skirts and stuff, is my jean collection. And when I say y'all have a lot of jeans, I have a lot of jeans. This is not as many as I used to have. Back in college, I had over 50 pairs of jeans. It was a problem, I know. Some of those jeans I do wish I still had to this day. With finding a pair of jeans that fit you well, you do need to try them on. If you are on the curvier side, you may want to find something with some spandex or lycra in it so that it can fit your curves well and it doesn't flatten that booty. Again, this is another piece that I would get two of, one in a lighter wash and one in a darker wash. A darker wash, you can definitely dress up and dress down. I love a dark denim for the fall and also like evening night activities, you can really dress up the right pair of dark denim. Again, the cut and the rise are up to you, whether you're a high-waisted girly, a low-waisted girly, a mid-rise girly. If there are slight fit issues with any of these pairs of jeans that you fall in love with, just go ahead and take them to the tailor, especially if you just need to take that waist in. It'll make it look like the jeans were made for you. Next up is a suit. Whether you're creative like me or you work a nine to five, I think having a suit in your wardrobe is essential. Now, the type of suit that you have in your wardrobe is going to depend on what you do for work. Now, if you are a nine to five corporate baddie, you're gonna have something in a gray, black, navy, and possibly in a dark green, depending on what your workplace policies are, okay? But for a creative, the sky is the limit for the type of suit that you can own. You can own something that's a cropped blazer with some wide leg pants. You can add something that's kind of distressed and funky. You can have something that's in a bright color. It all depends on where you work and what you do for a living and what you're gonna be wearing that suit for. Also, the great thing about owning a suit is that you can separate it into separates. You can wear the blazer with a t-shirt and jeans. You know, the two things that's on the list. You can wear the blazer with a skirt, with a dress. There's so many things you can do with it. 
You can, again, dress it up, dress it down. You can take the pants and wear it with a different top with a different blazer if you want to. If you want to do some print mixing or some color blocking, you can do that as well. If you get so bold and so inclined, you can take that blazer and not put a shirt underneath it at all, honey, okay? And just belt it and go about your day. The versatility of slacks, which would come with the suit, and the blazer are endless. Next up is one of my favorite things in the whole planet in my entire wardrobe it is a white button-up shirt again the fit of your white button-up shirt and the length of your white button-up shirt depends on you i have a white button-up shirt in so many different variations i have a wrap top i wear men's button-up shirts as oversized shirts all the time i have so many that i thrifted or whatever you can also do more fitted ones especially again if you're a corporate baddie and you need a fitted one to go under your shirts and things like that now you want to make sure that you take this white button up to the cleaners make sure they're treating this collar because all of us are wearing makeup at some point in time when we're wearing this shirt and that makeup is getting all up and through here so make sure you keep an eye on it because nobody wants a dirty collar or get you a stain remover that is great, especially for makeup. There's endless possibilities of what you can do with a white button up. You can pair it with leggings, jeans, slacks, a pencil skirt, a mini skirt, under a dress, over a dress, under a blazer, under a sweater. Like there's so many things that you could do with a white button up and the options are literally endless. Next up is a well-fitted skirt. I think a well-fitted skirt that works for you and your body type is what you need. So whether that is a flared skirt, an A-line skirt, a mini skirt. Now, I don't know if you can wear a mini skirt to the office. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? But if you need to go to the office, get you a skirt that goes for the office. And that, again, could be a pencil skirt. It could be a pleated skirt. It just depends on your body type and what you're comfortable in. So when it comes to looking for skirts, again, the rise and the fit depends on what you're comfortable with, what works for your lifestyle and your wardrobe. For me, I love a good midi skirt and I love a good mini skirt. A mini skirt is going to make my legs look so long, okay? That's one of my best features. So I'm trying to show it off most of the time. A mini skirt is also great with thigh high boots in the winter time you can really take it from season to season if you dress it up correctly get a well-fitted skirt that works for you your lifestyle and your body shape next up are a cardigan and a sweater cardigans and sweaters are essential especially for layering in the winter time you could do a crew neck sweater under your blazer and with your suit honey for the office and if you can you can play with color with your sweaters. How you do your cardigan, again, is up to you. I have found lately that I love a good oversized cardigan. I love a good long maxi cardigan. If you like a fitted cardigan, then go with that. If you want something that's a little bit more oversized, work that in. Now, when you get into the more oversized cardigans and the oversized sweaters, those will lean more towards a very casual type of vibe. Well, when you have a more fitted and more streamlined sweater or cardigan, that is going to give more of a dressed up or corporate work environment. So you may want to get something, if you do like oversized, you may want to get one that's more fitted for the office if you need that, and one that is more for the weekends and when you're off, that is more of a casual, comfy oversized sweater next up for a classic wardrobe you need a trench coat i have two trench coats currently because i want to get some more i have a navy plain trench coat with the lining on the inside it's like one of those london fogs it's gorgeous i thrifted it it was cheap and i also have another one that has quilting on the back so it gives more of a statement instead of just being a plain trench coat. If a statement trench coat does not work in your wardrobe, do not go out and buy something with a whole bunch of bells and whistles, different patterns, prints, textures, and all of that just to be different. And then you can only wear it with one thing once a year. That's a waste of money. So find something in the color that works for you. Trench coats come in a variety of colors. I've seen some in some beautiful like soft blues, gorgeous greens, I think. I'm not sure because I'm not a corporate baddie, okay? But I think that you can have a little bit more leeway with your coats at work since you're not going to be walking around the office with them in and just arriving. So if you can, if you can, 
try to take some leeway with that coat in maybe a different color. There's also a lot of different lengths. I was eyeing one at Zara that was cropped. Know that there are tons of variations out there of a trench coat and you don't have to box yourself in with just a regular trench coat. Now, if you want to, that's your business, but I'm just letting you know, you ain't got to if you don't want to. Next up are a good pair of black pants. Black pants, whether they are a tailored pant or black leggings, can be dressed up or dressed down depending on the occasion. There's many a times that I've worn leggings, popped on some heels, put me on a white button up, and I was ready to go. There are other times where I've done tailored trousers with a white t-shirt and some sneakers, and I've dressed them down. So the possibilities are endless depending on what type of pant that you want to get. Again, I would suggest getting something, one, that's more casual and two, that's more dressy so that you have the versatility. Black is such a great neutral. It goes with so many different things, so many different colors, especially if you have prints that you may not know what goes with it. If there is black in that print, Throw on a black pair of pants and you're ready to go. Again, the silhouette and the rise is up to you. It depends on your body shape, which we'll get into in a later video, your lifestyle and how comfortable you are in them. If you want to elongate your legs, high rise is the way to go. If you want to elongate your torso, low rise is the way to go. If you want to even them out, you want to do a mid rise. Next up is a flat pair of shoes, not a sneaker. This is just a flat pair of shoes. I have recently started adding more flats into my wardrobe in different styles. I've gotten into more flats that are close toe, flats that are, you know, like I have these Gucci flats from the gate. Okay. And I love these. They're like a sandal flat, it's not like a thong sandal. It can be dressed up or dressed down, which I love. I can wear this with jeans. I can wear it with slacks. I can wear it with a dress, which I've done. So pick flats that work for you and your climate, okay? Because I don't want you to be like, Raven told me to get these flats and they open toe and you live in New York and you trying to be outside in December. Nobody told you to do that, okay? Even if you do live in a climate that has four seasons to where you can only wear open toe flats or things like that in the summertime, that is fine as long as you're using them in the summertime. Things that are seasonal are a-okay. We just don't want things to be occasional, okay? I wear them once in a blue moon. Next up is a good pair of heels, honey. Learn to walk in heels. When I tell you, you will look so much better, okay? I have a video of how to walk in heels so you look less like Annalise and more like Naomi. Don't come for me because we've all seen Annalise in these heels, honey, okay? We all seen it. So I ain't saying nothing that we ain't all seen, okay? A great pair of heels can literally go with everything. This is the great part of these pieces for your wardrobe is that you can mix and match them with everything else in your wardrobe. Get you a good pump and get you a good simple strap heel. Now, how thick and how high you need that heel to be, again, is up to you. If you can't walk in stilettos, don't be out here in stilettos, okay? If you need a block heel that's two inches, that's your business. I cannot walk in a kitten heel. I don't know what it is. It either needs to be flat to the ground or it needs to be about four to five inches high, okay? The in between, I'm wobbling and I'm walking like Herman Munster, okay? But if you can walk in a kitten heel and you can't walk in a four inch, then you need to be in a kitten heel because we don't need you wobbling down the street because you're wearing shoes that you can't walk in. Ain't no shame in your game. If you are stretching, honey, it don't matter if now, don't we get them little, little, little heels about this bit, this much off the ground. That don't make no sense. Where are you going and why do you need to be a quarter of an inch off the ground? Hmm? You don't, okay? Other than that, get your heel and strut in them. That is how you will look more confident, how you will look more put together. Because what can ruin an outfit quicker is if you are walking like your feet hurt. Because that's all we're going to see now. We don't care how fabulous the outfit is. We don't care how put together it is. All we're going to see is that girl in pain. Them shoes don't fit. She can't walk in them shoes. That's all we're going to see. Because you're going to be stumbling and wobbling and tiptoeing. And God forbid, as my community, we never, ever want to be the women outside with no shoes on, okay? Heels in hand. Not for us. So wear what works for you and what's comfortable for you, okay? 
There is a plethora of things. We'll get into what you need for accessories and heels as far as wardrobe tools, of things that you can make your heels more comfortable. Lastly is a pair of sneakers. These can be casual or they can be more of a dressed up sneaker, like a leather sneaker. If you want more of a polished look, a more, more of a classic, just streamlined look, you may want to go for a leather simple sneaker. Now, if you want to go for more of a sporty vibe when it comes to your sneakers, especially if you're not wearing these working out, okay? Let's not do necessarily like a running shoe or something that looks too athletic. Let's kind of keep it a little fashiony, just a touch, just a little bit. Something that can be worn with jeans easily. You can even throw it on with a suit, but keep in mind where you're going to wear these things, possibly. Like I feel like sometimes like Asics can be too like, I run in marathons versus a lot of like New Balances and Adidas have become more casual sneakers versus athletic sneakers, if that makes sense. That is it. That is my full list of items that every woman should own in their wardrobe. In later lessons, because I feel like this is a series, we'll talk about other things to add into your wardrobe to complete your personal style and your style aesthetic but these are the foundational pieces that every woman needs. To reiterate, please pick pieces based on your lifestyle, your body shape, and your personal wardrobe. We don't want to get anything that we're not going to wear or that we feel uncomfortable in. A tailor is your best friend. If you need minor tweaks and adjustments, take them to the tailor and the items will look like they were made for you. And again, I'll be sure to link everything that was seen in this video in the description box below. And if I can't, I'll be sure to add some alternatives. Since you've made it this far, you might as well join the tribe of baddies who want a budget, honey, and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you're the first to be notified every time I post a new video. And you might as well follow me on IG and TikTok. Until next time, y'all, watch this video that was picked specifically for you.